Leslie Chandler. I am an Etsy shop owner and a crafty spirit. I love showing others how to create different crafts and DIY their way to success. Today I'm doing a little presentation on how you can create 30 days of content for your social media in less than an hour using the Canva app. You can create easy and beautiful content for all of your social media. Let's get started. The way I like to start is by having a good brainstorming session. And being a baby boomer, I prefer the pen and paper brainstorming method. Um, I like to create a draft of what I want to have for my month of content. You might find it helpful to print out a calendar for the month that you can jot down ideas for different dates. For example, I'm doing this particular social media content calendar for the month of December. So I think about things that are going on in December, such as Christmas and Hanukkah and different holidays and special events. Think about the weather and what kind of season is going on and what's relevant to this current time period. I like to go over to the National Day calendar and see what's going on um, for each day of the month, what's being celebrated. So you click on calendar at a glance and then you would scroll down till you get to the month that you're working on. And so I'm working on December, so I clicked on that. And I like the national days, um, but you have weeks, months, and international celebrations. And so you can just kind of scroll down and see if there's something that kind of interests you. Um, I liked National Mutt Day, which is on the 2nd. And I also spotted National Cookie Day on December 4th. All right, so by now we've probably spent about 15 to 20 minutes on this project. The very next thing that I do is create a seven day draft. In other words, I create reoccurring events that happen on each day of the week. Now this works for me and it ensures that I'm engaging with my audience in different ways, but you can use any kind of topics that you think would work for you. So for instance, Sundays I do shop updates, things that are about my Etsy shop. Monday, motivational and inspirational. Tuesday I'm doing thought-provoking questions, which increases interactions. Wednesdays are for humor. If we've made it to that part of the week, we definitely need humor. Thursdays I'm doing a call to action. In other words, something to get them to act on something like go to my Etsy shop or visit my Pinterest. Um, different things like that. Get on my email list, etc. Fridays is a free day for me for whatever I want to put in my social media. And then Saturdays is going to be all about me so that I can share a little bit more about myself with my audience, which also increases engagement. All right, so now we're ready to go on over to canva.com and start creating our content. So what I do is I go over to the uh, the home page and I select I'm going to select the Instagram post because that's what I'm focusing on right now so I'm going to choose that as my template and then I'm going to start creating pages so keep in mind I'm starting out with a seven day focus okay so I just need to create seven days and so I'm just going to kind of go through the templates and find the things that seem to uh, speak to me. So I like this particular one. And then I'm going to go ahead and add another page. I'm not going to do any tweaking or editing of any of this yet until I get uh, finished with these seven days. Add another page. Add another page. Just kind of go and see different things that kind of appeal to me. I like that. Add a page. And now I can see that I'm on page six here. So each page is identified by page number. Oh, I like that. Just the, the look of that one. And then I need another one like this. All right, so now I have seven pages. So let's take a look at those seven pages by hitting the grid view here down at the bottom. All right, so I have seven nice looking templates to work with. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into each one of these templates and make sure that I have my brand colors um, involved. So let's start with the first one by clicking on it. And I'm going to go through here, <clears throat> excuse me, and just click to change the colors to my brand colors. Here's my pink that I like to use, and then let's change this to my teal color that I like to use. Okay, so all I'm doing right now is just making sure I've got my brand colors um, being utilized. So you would click on what it is that you're changing and then hit your brand color. It just takes a little bit, just a few minutes to kind of, uh, I think I'll use the charcoal or the gray. All right, keep going, changing these colors. actually like that just like it is okay and then for this one don't like that color and then oh need to fix that and then one more let's fix this All right, I feel like that's good. So let's go take a look at it now and see if we've got some consistency in the colors. The only thing I don't like on this one is this color here, and I wasn't really able to change this one. So let's go to this one and actually replace it with something else. I like this one, so I'm going to change that to a different color, and then we'll just leave it like that. All right, so let's go and look. So we have seven days here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I like the color, so I'm going to stick with that. All right, and so before I go any further, I'm going to try to mix it up just a little bit so that the colors are... are vary just a little bit. So we have a little pink. This one's multi. This one's green. Pink, multi. Maybe this one should be that teal color. Maybe we should trade that out a little bit. And then make the designs that were in there the pink color. Just so we have a little bit of variation in the colors. All right, so let me go back and see. All right, so now let's look at these seven days here and think of them in terms of the first day of the month, the second day, the third day, and so on. And so the first day of December starts out on a Tuesday. And if you think about our seven-day draft, we decided, or I decided Tuesdays were going to be a thoughtful question, some kind of interactive exchange. So I feel like this template works really good with that particular theme so that when I duplicate these seven days, I feel like Tuesdays will be perfect for that kind of content. And so I'm going to look at each one of these days of the week in terms of will it work with the kind of content that I set up for that day. And I've already done that and I feel like all of them work really well except for the Sunday shop update. So I've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 
Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch this template or add something to this template that's going to work um, a lot better with my shop updates. So I'm taking this stuff out. I'm going to keep the color here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Elements and I'm going to add in one of these frames. Now these frames that you see with the, the land or the, the grass mm -hmm. inside of them like that, these are the kind of frames that I can add videos or photos to very easily. So I'm just going to choose a shape here. Um, and you can look to see all. There's some really cool things like you could actually add one that looks like a telephone. Or you can add one that looks like a computer. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the one that looks like a telephone. I'm going to go ahead and add this one get rid of that. So that'll be cool because what I can do is I could either add a picture of something in my shop or a little video of something in my shop. So I feel like that will work for my Sunday shop updates. Everything else I feel like works pretty good. So let's go back to those seven days. And let's go ahead and now what we're going to do is we're going to choose all of these days. This is what's really cool and time efficient. And we're going to duplicate them. So now we have seven more days and we're just going to keep doing that until we have all of our days until the end of the month. All right, so now I'm going to go in and update my content so that it's ready to go. Um, the only thing I'm not really going to mess with are the Sunday shop updates because I'm just going to leave that like it is because that's going to be, you know, video footage and different photos that I take on these days. So I'm not really going to mess with those particular ones for Sundays, but I am going to go into each day other than that and put in the material that I had set for those days. For instance, um, Tuesdays were going to be thoughtful questions, interactive questions. So I'm just going to go in and do all of my Tuesdays and add some kind of thoughtful question for each one of those days. Okay, so you can see that I have gone in here and edited all of my templates with the material that I had in my brainstorming session and all of my days of the week kind of topics. So that took me about 30 minutes because I already had everything pretty much ready in my brainstorming session. And so now that I have everything like I want it, I'm going to go ahead and save it. Now, when you want to save this, you can hit this download button up at the top. So once we hit download, we can choose to either do all of the pages at once or we can do one page at a time. I like to do one page at a time. And I like to save mine as a uh, a JPEG because it's smaller or a PNG is a high quality image. Now some of these are animated. Some of them have some animation in them like this one. And so that's why I do it one day at a time because this one I do want the animation to show up. Let me just show it to you again how these little um, these little things move around a little bit. So I want that to show up on my Instagram post. So I'm going to need to download that one as an MP4 video. But I'm just going to do that one particular page whenever I do that one. So there you have it. That's all you have to do to create 30 days of content for your social media using the Canva application. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you'll come back to see more. Have a great day.